just the amount of compute power it takes to train models and whether they're LLMs or SLMs, but there's an enormous amount of compute power. And today that can only really be done in the cloud. Right? From an inference perspective, a lot of inference gets done in the cloud as well, but that's actually not because that's the right place to do it. It's because the edge compute hasn't evolved to the point that you can actually run high amounts of inference at the edge. If AI doesn't move to the edge, you can't actually do lots of very high quality inference at the edge, then AI will not become ubiquitous. Or a different way to say it is like, if I can't actually consume AI in enterprise class applications here or at the edge or my laptop or something, it's not very useful. So it has to come to the edge in order for AI to actually be part of your daily life and ubiquitous. And then there's the cost aspect as well, which is it's cost an enormous amount of money, as we've seen, to train models and also do inference. So if all the inference has to be done in the cloud, that round trip is extraordinarily expensive, both in compute and transport rates. So to do that. So there's a cost aspect where the hyperscalers very much want to get as much as they can to the edge as fast as they possibly can because the cost differences are giant around that. So it go from losing a lot of money to making a lot of money. So it's a very, very big opportunity.